What's going on, Initiative? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Darren Bradley. I think that's my last name, the way I said it, I don't know. With uh, Black Lightning Season 3, Episode 13 Review. First off, let's get some business out the way. Please subscribe to the initiative at Afro A underscore AI at Twitter and YouTube. That's Afro underscore AI on Twitter and YouTube. And Afro Anime Initiative on Facebook and Instagram. Now we got that out the way. Let's get to Black Lightning. Man, I want to stay positive on this channel as much as possible. Unless we're doing BTS. And that's a whole other story. Uh, but on this channel, I want to stay positive. And Black Lightning, this episode... Straight half and half. Half of it was like, uh -huh. the other half was like, yes. <laughs> and when they did that stuff, it was, it was phenomenal. Um, so let's get right into it. The first half is just set up and not in a good way. Like the entirety of all last episode, all last episode was set up, but it was good. I mean, good writing, the character dynamics, everything flow. The first half of this episode was set up. It was just exposition, talking to you, blah, 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 And you don't think it's going to be that way because when it starts off, you have Black Lightning just giving you his feelings about being a superhero. What are superheroes and why are we doing this? But I am going to do this because I love Freeland and I would do whatever it takes for Freeland for my wife. And that's great. It's exposition with thought, with feeling. Um, Great music too, by the way. I don't talk about this a lot, but the soundtrack to this show, it started off great year one, year two was cool, and this year, like, it just, they picked the perfect moments and the perfect songs. It's been perfect this year, and I just haven't mentioned it, and I don't know why. Don't know why. Been great. But the music, and just Black Lightning giving it out there. And at first, you know, he's talking to the audience, of course, and then they show him talking again, but of course, you know, his father figure, and it's cool. That type of those type of expositions work well. After that, we literally get 30 minutes of the team coming together, air quotations, the team coming together, but all the the uh, in um the relationship um dynamics and how they're broken because again, it's really not a team, it's just a people together that with powers, untrained people trying to do something, trying to do good. It's unnecessary. And I'm not saying it's unnecessary where you don't want that type of drama. It's unnecessary because then they have, after half an hour, getting the team together and training and explaining everybody's powers again, which I understand you do that for, you know, the show. But then there's a scene in the show that at the halfway point when they're all in a giant helicopter getting ready to go to Markovia to rescue Dr. Lin and get Tobias, where they do the same thing and so much better. Everybody's in this closed quarters. You get an exposition about people's powers, what they can do. You get the relationship while who doesn't trust who. Anissa doesn't trust Painkiller. Um, sorry, I forgot to throw that in there. Painkiller joins the team by being asked by Jennifer and Black Lightning. They get him to come to Markovia with them to help us rescue Dr. Lynn. But you get his motivation in this scene, though. Even though for a half an hour, you get him talking about he can't do this, can't do that. But then in like a second, you get his motivation of why he can do it. It was great. In that helicopter scene, the transporter, leaving Freeland to go to Markovia, the dynamics, people's powers explains, except for Grace and Anissa. I mean, it's just weird stuff that you can't show inside that type of closed quarters. But everybody else's powers are talked about, explained, and the dynamics in relationship to each other. Now, I'm not saying you do a whole half an hour of that. <laughs> I mean, that would have been even weirder. But it also showed that with good writing, you do the uh, a good setup, it makes the exposition work. And they, I don't know. And like I said, it sucks when you have it bad one way and then good right in the same episode. Okay, so we're done with that. Now to the good parts. The attack on the Markovian base was on point. Action scenes, people figuring stuff out. Um... The use of powers, like I said, again, the budget, the music. The music was on point. It had you in there. You flowing with it. Like any good action scene, especially since you know it's a scene, it's a fight, it's choreographed. When done to the music or even when it goes against the music, it brings out the action. And they do it so well in this. You got um, 
Anissa using her powers on Erica, the girl who can absorb powers to get through an obstacle. You um showed them fighting for a little bit, but you showed the use of their powers. You got black lightning lighting stuff up all through this episode. That's what you've been budgeting on when the superhero show. On the powers. Looks great. The fighting looks cool. You have Dr. Lynn doing her thing. Again, you have a lot of setup before and then fighting against somebody. And I'm going to talk about this separate. That's why I haven't mentioned it. But them fighting against the new kind of head of Markovia and using intelligence. Dr. J's working together. Cool stuff like that. And it's into the music, too. The background music. It plays into it. The beats, the tension works so well in this. And the person I didn't talk about before that I'm talking about now. Grave Digger. Wayne Brady is Grave Digger. And I've been a huge fan of Wayne Brady. I just like the stuff he does. Because I think Wayne Brady's the honest dude. No matter what he does, my cousin's being honest. He's him. When he him is Grave Digger. Grave Digger is a metahuman that um is a soldier. Uh Markovia, he was a pod kid. They got him. They got him, 93 others, but he's the only one that's stable on that crew. He can control people with audio commands, mental domination. Grave Digger's a beast. He's a fighter. He's a warrior. He's been trained up all this time. As long as Black Lightning been around, Grave Digger been training for, to be a soldier working with Markovia. Man, the brain, brain, Wayne Brady brings out the best in his character. I did some research on him and most of the, the, the finer details, his debut and all stuff was out, but Grave Digger's the bomb character and Wayne Brady brings it across it. Wayne Brady's portrayal makes me want to go back and get more into the comic book side of stuff. And, you know, just get into more Black Lightning and stuff. So we got Dr. Lynn and Dr. Jace fighting against him on one side. But you got when Grave Digger comes in and goes against the squad. Grave Digger versus Painkiller is dope. We see what Khalil can do once he um, is in control. And it's good, just not good enough because the Painkiller... Um, persona isn't dominating, so he's not as ruthless, but he can still hold his own, which is good to see. Great to see that he can. You have Brandon, the Earth Mover. He's going after Dr. Jace, almost kills her, but the ASA sergeant um, stops him and saves him and Jace. Woo! Black Lightning goes after Tobias, and Gamby gives good reasons for this. Again, exposition that counts and keeps moving the story forward. Letting it know, hey, you're more experienced. The girls could be messed with by Tobias. Not you. You can stay focused. You got your real hero. You can do this. Black Lightning saves Tobias. But Black Lightning versus Gravedigger, not so much because Gravedigger's a good soldier. Like, oh, this dude a beast. I'm tagging from behind. I'm um, be smart. And he does. So you think he 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 gets it. He got Black Lightning down, takes him down. And he gets, every, everybody's in the copter now. He gets to the copter, commands him, hey, y'all, stop. But he can't do it to Dr. Lynn because Dr. Lynn and Jace came up together with a formula to cause to stop his powers from working on her. She has his powers. So when she tries to use it on him, it doesn't work because obviously it doesn't because when he tried to use it on her, it didn't work. Cool. But Black Lightning, maybe down, he's not out. Steps up, takes out Grave Digger because he touched his wife. Don't touch my wife. Everybody goes home. This was a fun episode when you get to the second half. And honestly, I'm really excited now to see some of the character dynamics. And I say that with a little bit of caution because you can have character interaction. You can have um, the drama, but don't make it melodrama is what I'm saying. Because when it gets to the melodrama, I'm sorry, CW, y'all don't do that well. But actual drama based on the situations, dope. Like you with Jason Lynn trying to undermine Gravedigger in the lab. And like I said, you only meet him this episode. But uh, trying to undermine him in the lab and working together. But the tension and them getting caught, you feel it. It's only like two scenes. But then you'll have whole episodes where you, oh, and I don't like this. But you did this to me. And you know it feels like, bleh. but in this with the with with the let the situation carry the tension. Don't add the extra stuff on it. I think this is when Black Lightning works the best. And once again, the second half of this episode is great. Watch Black Lightning, guys. Watch it all the way through. 
one through three. Like I said, you don't really have to watch the first two seasons if you're not caught up because the, the recaps at the beginning of each episode are great and they give you exactly what you need for the episode. And then again, there's exposition in the episode in, in the episodes to help you guys out. So once again, a really good episode. I mean, like I said, half and half, half and meh, but the second half, great. So we mean the middle as in a good episode. Um, Black Lightning, season three, episode 13, Lucky 13, really good. Um, So yeah. I saw a superhero. He was black. He said, this is for the street. Black Lightning and his whole family and team, they back.